Good evening. As we take our seats this evening, our parent speaker tonight said, what do I do if no one listens? And I said, you shh them. She thought I was joking. I was not. It works. My name is Mike Reardon. I'm the director of the Catholic Schools Foundation and the Inner City Scholarship Fund. And it's my pleasure to welcome you here tonight on behalf of our board chair, Michael Rogers, and our dinner committee chair, Jim Judge. As I'm speaking, please enjoy your salad. Tonight is an interesting night. It's the largest event that we've ever had celebrating the work of the Inner City Scholarship Fund. But it's also an interesting date in the history of our country. 51 years ago today was the assassination of Martin Luther King, Jr. Well, what does that have to do with tonight? Three years ago, Shira Goodman, the CEO of Staples, accepted the Carolyn and Peter Lynch Award. And she talked about the divisiveness in our country, talking about how we lived in a divided place and time. But what she shared, and I'd like to repeat it back tonight, is about the work of the Inner City Scholarship Fund. She said, how wonderful is it, and desperately needed, that the Catholic Schools Foundation brings to people together and helps us find common ground. Catholics, Protestants, Jews, Muslims, peoples of all kinds of religion and no religion find common ground. White, black, brown find common ground. CSF is that rare gift. We are not divided by red and blue. We're united by doing something, something important that transcends all differences. Helping young people get the education that will give them good values, that will give them a supportive community, that will give them a hopeful future. So 51 years later, after that tragic event, a time of disruption in our country, we realize there'll always be disruption. But we also realize that with common ground, there comes hope. And tonight, we celebrate that. What you make possible is a hopeful future for so many. We're simply a conduit to the great work done in the classrooms each day, in the work of the families who struggle to give their children an opportunity that so many of us had. This work cannot be done without you. We make a promise to these kids that we're with them. You make that possible. You make it possible for us to say to a student like Julian Delgado, who you'll see tonight, from the time he was in fourth grade until the time he's graduating and getting ready to go to college, we're with you. For that to happen, we need you with us. So it's with profound gratitude that we celebrate tonight, that we look towards a hopeful future. Tonight's success is due in large part to our honoree, Dick Conley, and to our dinner chair, Jim Judge. I'd like to say thank you to them. <laughs> Mary and Anne Marie and Dick and Jim, your personal support has been incredible. The time and effort you've put in has made this the largest and most successful dinner yet. So thank you. What's most interesting, though, is both Jim and Dick never forgot where they came from. Dick from, from St. Charles in Woburn, Jim from St. Peter's in Dorchester, Malden Catholic, CM. We talk about PC High a bit, but we'll let that go. Um, <laughs> he says there's a story. We may hear it. But they never forgot, and they keep giving back. And the students that you met there today, shaking hands and smiling at you, Hopefully, 51 years from now, they'll be here, paying it forward. And I'd also like to thank, most of all, Peter Lynch. Peter, your leadership, your dedication, your commitment, your inspiration for so many has changed not tens of thousands of lives, but hundreds of thousands of lives. 
and it's changed neighborhoods, it's changed communities. Thank you for all that you do so quietly and selflessly. So Peter, thank you. So we talked a little bit about past things and things going forward, and there's been one constant in this dinner, and that is our relationship with Channel 5 and WCVB. We celebrate Peter Lynch a lot, but if it actually weren't for Paul La Camera unknowingly making Peter Lynch the chair of this event uh, 29 years ago, Peter probably wouldn't have, have been roped into it and fallen, fallen in love with it and committed so much time. So Channel 5, WCVB, Bill Fine, we're grateful to you, and Ben Simino, we're grateful for you being here tonight as well. And finally, I'd like to recognize Kathy Mears. Kathy is the superintendent of schools who announced that she was going to be retiring. And we're very fortunate that Kathy has built a foundation upon which we can grow. And her successor was just named Tom Carroll. And we're grateful that they're both here tonight. And we wish Kathy well and Tom continued success. So as Bishop Uglietto comes forward to lead us in prayer, I ask that you think about tonight and reflect on what you're making possible. You're making a common ground possible. You're making a hopeful future possible. We can't do this work without you, and we're so grateful for all of you. Thank you for your presence here tonight. It is now my pleasure to introduce Bishop Uglietto. Good evening. Cardinal O'Malley has asked me to share his greetings due to his having been called to meetings with the Holy Father in Rome this week. He wants to, me to express his gratitude for your support of the work of the Catholic Schools Foundation. Because of your generous support, children and families have the opportunity to receive a superior education and the personal and spiritual formation support that will allow them to achieve their God-given potential and success in life. Cardinal Sean and I join you in recognizing Dick and Anne Marie Conley's care and concern for the children who benefit from this evening's event and their long-standing support of the foundation. Dick and Anne Marie lead by example, letting their actions speak as they quietly assist so many people in need of a helping hand. They truly live the gospel teachings. We are also grateful to Jim Judge for chairing the gala this year, continuing his and Mary's well-established record of support for our Catholic schools. We are all indebted to Peter Lynch for his decades of extraordinary time and effort in building the foundation to a national leader of philanthropy for Catholic schools. As we prepare for dinner, let us pause to give thanks for all who made this night possible, those who prepared, served us this evening. We call to mind all who lack the basic needs of food, shelter, and education. As together we pray, bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts, which we are about to receive from thy bounty, through Christ our Lord, amen. Enjoy your meal. Good evening, everybody. We have a, a special treat for you this evening before we begin dinner. I am Ben Simino from WCVB Channel 5. Uh, I'm thrilled to be back for my third year as MC of this phenomenal event tonight. The Catholic Schools Foundation does great work throughout the year. This event in particular raising uh, so much money to go to so many students throughout greater Boston and beyond. 
Channel 5 truly views as part of its critical mission service in the community. And under our President, General Manager Bill Fine, who's here tonight, his predecessor, Paul LaCamera, uh, Channel 5 has been a part of this event from the very beginning, 29 years ago. This is one of those events, um, we do a lot of these events throughout the course of the year, and it's one of those events where uh, it's so rewarding to see the real impact of what is raised here tonight and what is raised in pledges to the Inner City Scholarship Fund, because we'll see that in a number of the student performances and student remarks that we'll get this evening. Tonight, speaking of, we have a special treat for you. Amanda Mena is a scholarship recipient. She's at St. Mary High School in Lynn. She was also a semi-finalist on America's Got Talent. I know it's on NBC, but let's give her a round of applause for that. When you hear her sing, you will realize just how talented she is. Amanda faced bullying. Let's have a look. I have to do this. You know what? She's just an incredible talent. And she's young, she's enthusiastic, she's hungry, and she actually reminds me a little bit of me. Oh. <laughs> no, so you she can your sing. Own self. You know how much she loves her. No, as in, <laughs> no, nobody accepted her, and she fought, and she But she has a good proceeded. voice. She has Ooh, a great voice. Simon, that Simon, oh, Simon. Stop it. Dang, Simon. <laughs> yeah. All right, here's little Mel, Amanda Minaw. <laughs> My mom and dad came here to try to set up a better life for us. Amanda, ven a la bodega a comprar papa. Okay, abuela. Yeah. For the first four years of my life, I lived in the Dominican Republic. When we moved here, I didn't know the culture, didn't know the language. Hey, hey, Amanda, ¿cómo tú estás? Hola, señora Rincón, muy bien. Kids would say, go back to your country, you don't belong here. And I felt like an outsider. My family always taught me, don't let what people say hold you back. You can do anything that you want. <laughs> Getting that golden buzzer, I still can't believe it. Can you believe that? I can't believe that. <laughs> It means a lot to my family, too, because even though they came from poverty, they sacrificed so much so that I could have this opportunity. My family is everything to me. Tonight is my chance to give back to them. And I'm not going to waste it. I'm not going to waste it. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, I'm Amanda Mena, a sophomore and honor student at St. Mary's Lynn. I am honored to be invited here by the Catholic Schools Foundation. Your organization reflects so much of what I believe in, which is quality education, achievement, good character. And I, along with my friends at St. Mary's, are so lucky to have the support, allowing us to avoid the wrong crowd and succeed. And to my fellow st um, students out there, let us all believe in our unique qualities and strengths. Work hard, follow your passion, and never, ever give up. We're all going to succeed in our own special way. Thank you so much to all of your support, um, the Inner City Scholarship Fund. I will now perform two songs by two great artists. Thank you so much. I'm trying to hold my breath Let it stay this way Can't let this moment end You set off a dream in me Getting loud Can you hear it echo? Share this with me 
Cause darling without you All the shine of a thousand spotlights All the stars we steal from the night sky Will never be enough Will never be enough Towers of gold are still too little These hands could hold the world But it'll never be enough Will never be enough Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, this next song um, means a lot to me because it shares a message that children are the future. They are. And one opportunity can completely change your life like it did mine. A Catholic education changed my life. And I'm so grateful to everybody that ever supported me. So here we go. I believe the children's our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense of pride to make it easier. Let the children's laughter remind us how we used to be. Everybody's searching for a hero. People need someone to look up to. Never found anyone who fulfilled my needs. A lonely place to be. And so I learned to depend on me. I decided long ago never to walk in anyone's shadows. If I fail. If I succeed, at least to live as I believe. No matter what they take from me, they can't take away my dignity. Because the greatest love of all is happening to me. And I found 
chest, a love will grow inside of me. Teach them well, let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense of pride to make it easier. Let the children's laughter remind us how we used to be. I decided long ago never to walk. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. How incredible was that? Don't go anywhere. Wait a second, Amanda. It was also just announced today that Amanda was named a winner of Fidelity Investments Young Artist Competition. She's going to perform with the Pops on May 22nd. Congratulations. <laughs> really incredible, Amanda from St. Mary and Lynn. Um, enjoy your dinner. We'll be back in a little bit with the rest of the program.